Hey guys, this is my lesson titled The Salt Star-Spangled Banner and it is for first grade social studies. I hope you enjoy this video. All right, class, let's go ahead and stand up. Good, let's put our hands on our shoulders. Move this way and twist this way and back this way. Good, and back to center, perfect. Okay, so we are going to now listen to the national anthem. So just like what we learned last week, when we listen to the national anthem, we're going to put our hand on our heart, and we're going to be really quiet and just listen. So let's put our hands on our heart. Good job, Mia. Alexa, play the national anthem. Here's the Star Spangled Banner by Cedarmont Kids on Amazon Music. job during the national anthem your etiquette that we talked about last week was very good so we are going to talk today about symbols and now what is a symbol a symbol is usually an object that represents something so we have lots of symbols of our country can you think of any symbols we have the bald eagle the bald eagle very good so we're going to read this book and it's about the national anthem and we're going to be looking for symbols. Okay. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? Can you see any symbols in this picture? There's a flag. Flag, yes. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. You notice something about this page? There's a lot of blue. There's, there is a lot of blue. So, one thing about our flag is those colors also sim symbolize our nation. Red, white, and blue. Very good. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. There's a flag also in this one. Or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. There's lots of flags in that one, huh? The rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air. So those are rockets. Can you think of something that, that might we might have today that symbolize those rockets? Fireworks. Yeah, fireworks. I think fireworks are probably a symbol too. And they symbolize maybe the wars that we fought. Okay, Malia. Now we are going to make some symbols with our papers and our supplies that we have. We have watercolor and we have salt and we have glue. So first I'm going to show you, okay? Okay. I'm going to grab the glue. We're going to make a firework. So I'm putting the glue in little lines. Alright, now we're going to add salt to our pitcher. Okay, now we're going to grab some of our paint. And if it's not watery enough, we're going to add just a drop of our water. Just to make it a little bit more watery. And then we're going to put it right onto our salt. And we'll add another drop of water. And right onto our salt. We're gonna keep doing that. So, normally we do this together, but I only have one thing of glue. So I'm gonna go first, and then I want you to go after. So this first time, let's make, we're still gonna make, fireworks. We're going to do them like this. We're going to do a kind of cross. We're going to do another cross. One more cross. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Can 
Can I just open this dishwasher? Now we're gonna take, I you can use this salt. I'm gonna use this, this is our leftovers. We're gonna pour it right on. You don't have to use too much, just coat. Try to get each glue line coated. Okay, now, First graders, you would do this maybe on a cookie sheet if you have those. Something to not make a huge mess. Okay, yeah. So now we're going to take our paint and our brushes. And we're going to, with it super, super watery, we're going to just drop the paint right onto the side. If you need to dip it in, see how yours isn't super like bubbly, so give it just one dip and then put it right on the salt. Good. And we'll just keep going with that. I'm using red and blue because those symbolize our country. Okay, Mia, now I want you to create a symbol that we've talked about today or another symbol that you know represents our country. Okay? Okay. Okay, the time is yours. Theoretically, we are back at the rug, and we're gonna talk about what symbols we decided to put on our paper. So what symbols did you use, Mia? I used a firework to represent the flares and the rockets. I used a Liberty Bell because that's an Independence Hall, I think, I'm not sure. I used a star because it represents the flag in the 50 states in our country. And I use the pyramid because stuff. Because it's on the one dollar <laughs> bill. Yeah. Did you forget about that? Yeah. And that was the one that you insisted on putting there. Yeah. But I still like it. Stuff. Okay. So hopefully by knowing about symbols, we can recognize them in our daily lives because they are all around us. Thanks, Mia. I'm ditching class and going to Paris. Goodbye. Yeah.